In this Jakarta control room, they're working to spot tsunamis before they hit. So there's volcanic earthquakes? Yes, volcanic earthquakes. And there are seismic earthquakes? Right, yes. Are you tracking volcanic earthquakes here? Not, not really. And that's a problem, because although most tsunamis are triggered by earthquakes, the rest aren't. And parts of the country's tsunami detection system have been in disrepair since 2012. Last week's deadly wave that killed more than 400 was blamed on Anak Krakatoa, an erupting volcano which partially collapsed, triggering an underwater landslide that sparked the tsunami. These satellite images show the volcano is still crumbling. Indonesia's president promises an equipment upgrade to fix the broken detection system. Vital since the region sits on the so called Ring of Fire, an area of underwater volcanoes around the edges of the Pacific Ocean. Of course, I'm afraid, but I have to live here because my job is here. In America, the western U.S. is the most vulnerable, but there's been an early warning system in place since 1949. There's better maintenance and there's better public education about what to do when you get a warning. And there's more infrastructure to deliver the warnings. Meanwhile, Indonesia waits, hoping next time there's a natural disaster, they'll get a warning sign. Sarah Harmon, NBC News, Jakarta, Indonesia. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.